Welcome back guys. If you're following in any kind of order, you would have already seen my kitchen. Um, and you'd already know that I'm fighting against weight. Um, this is a lightweight build. So, um, also, I'm in dire need for some storage um, and some and some different ways of keeping things organized um, without just piling in cases or ply boxes or, or full-on cabinetry. So in this little episode, I'm gonna show you my plan to maximize storage without having loads of chunky materials in there. Um, if you're not up to scratch with why, why it's so lightweight um, and what I'm up against, click on the other videos and um, catch yourself up. So if you are tuning back in, last time I put this high level cupboard in um, that hasn't got frontals on it just before I went camping um, with the intention that it probably might not stay but it worked out so well um, and what I did is I put my little bins in there and I'll show you that shortly. So that high level cupboard is actually going to stay. What my next plan is to put some lower level storage just underneath um, to hold all of my little bits and bobs bins and um, again just leaving that space free for either food or other kind of bits and bobs because on these builds you can never have too much storage. So you may think I'm bonkers for weighing um, what I'm putting in but when you're when you're picking up long lengths like this it's hard to actually comprehend and understand how heavy things are because they're quite long it, it kind of seems heavy at full stretch but it is only aluminium so at the same time it doesn't fill the world in weight um, so I've got some kitchen scales um, and with that in mind, I'm going to load it up with everything that I'm going to use for my storage. Let's just zero that. So these are two meters long by 30 by 30 by 1.5. It's aluminium, um, but just to add, while these are two meters long, my trailer width is actually only 1400. So anything like these two lengths, for example, are actually gonna have 600 mil cut off. So there's a massive save in there. Um, but it's good to, to know where we are before. So everything that I'm gonna need, I'm gonna show you everything. I'm putting on the scales, including the little locks. 1,500 grams, so basically a kilo and a half. So if you're looking back at my other videos and you saw me cutting out the squares in the kitchen, one of those squares gives me all of this storage as far as weight's concerned. So just bear that in mind when you're building something.
Right, so I fast forwarded one stage, um, just so it's not just cuts of me walking around my driveway. Uh, you get the idea, I'm working on it. So, is this a good camera angle? I can make it work. Right, so, this is tempor temporarily sat here right now. I've got holes in the back ready to be fixed, nice. What I've ended up with is 100 mil of fixed angle at each end. That will come to light as to why very shortly. Um, I will show you the underside at some point. Oh, I'll show you now. So that's got a strip um, riveted to that. Uh, I will show you the underside fully once it's done. Uh, but I wanted, it, I wanted to show you it in place so it makes a bit more sense. So what the idea is, is this angle makes up the complete section. And it'll have a nice snug fit like that, just a tiny little millimeter gap at each end. And there's gonna be a piano hinge right the way across the bottom keeping that in place. So what actually happens is, they're sat in there nice and snug, like it's shown, when that's all sat at the correct height, a bit like that. They're sat in there nice and snug. Now, if I left them just like that, they will pop out when they're driving, I'll end up with coffee everywhere, etc. So this angle closes them in there so they can't move. And then I'm gonna put a little lock fastener here a very simple bolt across at each end. And then when I'm ready to access my bits and bobs, I'll flick the lock open at each end. And then this will pivot down like that, offering me my goodies. Just like that, very simple, one and a half kilos. And um, obviously not taking into consideration the weight of these little tubs, but they weigh next to nothing. And the finished um, amount of storage should be actually quite incredible right guys this is the underside now of the the shelf so this is the back where it will be screwed to the wall this is a plate that i've ran through in aluminium to allow the hinge for something of equal thickness and obviously quite strong to fix to. And then if you can see this joint here and here, what happens is that quite easy on the piano hinge. It wasn't one continuous, I actually had to join two together, but it still works seamlessly. So that is the underside explained and I'll pop that up in place and just show you the plan. So to quickly cut in, I've put the shelf on my scales. That's everything, plywood, all the strips, the hinge and everything. So 1.7 kilos, so under two kilos. So two of those sections that I cut out in the past. I couldn't be happier with how this has turned out actually. Um, so. Hopefully it makes a bit more sense now. I seem to be saying that quite a lot. But here's all the storage bins I was telling you about. I'll show you from here, just so you can see it in, in, in full to begin with. So I've got a lock on each side, you drop that down, and then you can access these bins. So when you're traveling, you flip that up, a little bolt across each side. These can't go anywhere then. So here it is. So just a tiny little, one of them one side, one of them the other, and hey presto, you can get your bins out. So like I said, powdered milk, tea bags, uh, cappuccinos, they're only half filled at the moment, but I'll find something to fill them up with. And then you just pop them across both sides. And there you have it. All that storage for 1.5 kilos plus the little tubs. 
and that leaves all this space up here for any kind of foods any kind of pots that kind of thing One of the phone calls before was letting me know that the stainless is ready for the top of here. So the next video might be the stainless, um, the, the kind of finished article, but also um, I'll be doing hopefully some clever little ideas on gaining some storage in the, in the sleeping area. And yeah, you've guessed it, um, lightweight hopefully. So um, that pretty much sums it up.